at Reed's Fly Shop. Today we'll be tying a Dolly Llama. It's a great fly for uh, bull trout, pike, walleye, even gold eye will hit it and catch big rainbows with it. Pattern originated in Alaska. It's really common using for uh, steelhead and salmon up there. So for our, our, our uh, back section, we'll be using an A-Rex TP610 and a number four. So we're gonna get our, our thread started and we're using a Viva 6 odd for thread. So for the tail section, we're using a hairline rabbit strip and olive. We want about a shank's length extending off the back of the hook. A few good wraps to hold it down, and then we'll wrap forward. Open his up again. For a stinger wire, we're using a 65 pound Power Pro. I've tried using wire before, the, the fly just doesn't really move right. And I've also tried fly line backing. It's okay if you're just fishing for trout, but pike will just bite right through it. The 65 pound power pro holds up good. For our front shank, we're using a size one A-Rex TP610 with the hook point cut off. So we're just using a bear cut shank. And for a cone, we're using a 3 8 of an inch hairline Alaskan cone in nickel. We're going to run our stinger through the cone and then through the eye of the hook. And then back through the cone. Just want to leave about a shank's length of stinger extending. For a lead underbody, we're using 030. It's just the right size to match up to the size of cone that we're using. A little bit of zap a gap again. We're going to push the lead forward and then pull back on our back hook. We want to leave enough space to tie in our rabbit strip. Just want to cover up that lead.
but for the body we're going to use a crosscut rabbit strip. And we want to use a crosscut because it'll just lay down nicer, it won't be as bulky, it won't soak up as much water. The rabbit gets heavy enough as it is to cast. Just going to wrap forward doing touch and turns, and you always want to preen the fur back with your fingers every wrap. For the belly, we're going to use a white rabbit strip. Nice contrasting color. We're going to put in a lateral line. It's a saltwater cut of this uh, Opal Mirage lateral line flashaboo. You can see that it has a curve to it. We want that curve going in. Lateral line can be just as important as eyes when you're tying for a, for a predatory fish. It's something that they react to. We want our flash coming back right in front of the hook bend. We want the, the uh, belly strip. We want to cut the hide just a little bit in front of that hook bend just so it doesn't foul up with the hook while you're fishing. So that's about a good length there. We'll take our zappa gap and just go all the way around. And that's it. Thank you for tuning in.